Jury selection starts today in Dominion Voting System's $1.6 billion defamation case against Fox News. Dominion claims the channel knowingly aired false information about its software and the 2020 election, and now the judge in the case has slapped Fox News with sanctions. Aaron Katursky is at the courthouse in Wilmington, Delaware. Good morning, Aaron. George, good morning to you. Jury selection begins here in about two hours and already this financial penalty against Fox News. The judge accused Fox News of misleading the court and delaying turning over certain pretrial evidence, including an off-air recording of Rudy Giuliani appearing to undercut the very claims about Dominion's voting machines that he was about to make on the air. A Fox attorney said that he only found out about this recording recently and turned it over promptly, but the judge is likely to appoint someone to investigate whether Fox News has been truthful or negligent in its handling of all this evidence. The judge has also been concerned that Fox News has been evasive about the role Fox boss Rupert Murdoch played at the channel. Dominion says that has hampered its ability to present a case. Dominion suing Fox News for $1.6 billion, arguing that Fox knowingly pushed lies about the 2020 elections and its voting machines so they wouldn't lose viewers. Fox calls the case a political crusade in search of a financial windfall. Now, Rupert Murdoch may be called to testify along with some of Fox's biggest stars like Sean Hannity, Maria Bartiromo, and Tucker Carlson, who has privately confided in a text message that some of the claims Fox was airing about Dominion's voting machines were, quote, shockingly reckless. Jury selection is expected to last here about two days before opening arguments are scheduled for Monday. Guys. Okay, Aaron, thanks very much. Let's bring in our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams. Dan, cases like this are traditionally hard to win, but what exactly does Dominion have to prove? They have to prove what's called actual malice. And there are different ways to define it, but essentially what that means is that you knew or should have known that what was published or said was false. That's a higher standard. Now remember, this judge has already ruled that it wasn't true. Step one is proving it was false. The judge has said as a matter of law, you've proved, Dominion, that these statements were absolutely false. But Fox still has that defense. The plaintiffs still have to prove that Fox knew or should have known it wasn't true. Do we know what each side is planning to argue? Yeah, I mean, look, the, the plaintiffs are going to argue they absolutely knew it. Look, we've got the text messages. We've got the interactions between them. We've got the proof, Dominion would say, that they knew what they were saying wasn't true. Fox is going to say that this was a newsworthy event, that the president of the United States was alleging this, and they were simply covering this as a matter of news, and as a result, that they shouldn't be liable. Could this have bigger implications for news organizations and free speech? Depends who you ask, right? You ask Fox News, and they would say this could have enormous implications. This could affect all sorts of different cases. If you ask Dominion, they would say no. There's no other cases like this one. This one is unique and particularly terrible. And so as a result, they would say it wouldn't have a and big Dan, impact. And it's not just about what Fox News personality said. It's also the people they put on the programs. Mm -hmm. Correct. They're responsible for both. But again, their knowledge becomes critical. Okay. Thanks for staying on top yep. of this horse, yes. Dan. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.